New Godfall gameplay appeared on Reddit from user Yeah Dong Ing that shows the awesome PS5 exclusive in action. It's a short bit of footage, but it's very interesting to look at. So I wanted to quickly go over it in this video. A like would be super appreciated and let's go. Godfall is of course that upcoming PlayStation 5 and PC exclusive that will not launch on current gen systems. So that basically means that they can focus on the specs of the PS5 to make it look as cool as possible. The trailer they showed during the Game Awards was all in engine and we also saw a small bit of low quality gameplay. But now we got a way better look at some gameplay footage. Good to note is that this footage is from a year ago according to Yeah Quarter Dong In, meaning that it will likely look even better when we see it again. I think that will happen during the PlayStation 5 reveal event, that would be my bet. But yeah, right now I'm already pretty impressed and it looks like a ton of fun to play. So the idea of this game is that you wear different armor sets called Valor Plates that then change the gameplay up. And you also have different weapon types that of course also have different combos. They kind of compare it to Monster Hunter. And in the small bit of footage we see the three starter Valor Plates in action. So you can choose one at the beginning, likely after the reveal trailer. So the reveal trailer is actually an early cutscene that you will see in the game. So you choose one of these armor sets, but can after that actually farm the other two as well. But there should be way more of these feather plates in the main game. And I like how varied the environments look. We already learned that the world is split up into realms. We got earth, water, air, fire and spirit. And I think we see the first shot of the air realm here with this character in the world in the clouds. But then we go to the sort of forge area that we actually get a better look at in this small piece of combat. And this character seems to be in a pretty cool looking castle ready to get attacked by some armored knights. And overall the enemies seem pretty varied as well and are likely dependent on the realm you are exploring. Like I think we get these fire breathing creatures in the fire realm you would think right? A few enemies stand out, like this Molten Knight guy that might actually be a boss. We see co-op gameplay in Action Year 2. It's a three-player drop-in and drop-out co-op game with one character now attacking the boss while the other one is waiting for the right moment to strike. I personally really love this sort of Nia guy in, again, I think this is the Air Realm doing a cool taunt with his small knife. And it seems like you can lock onto a target as well because of the red circle we see on this enemy. And we can also see where enemies are coming from thanks to the arrows around our character. Not sure if you can like turn it on and off because we don't see it in every encounter. And overall I really love how there seem to be some smaller enemies but the focus is on more stronger large skilled enemies. So kind of more souls like than a traditional hack and slash game. While they do call it a looter slasher because of the focus on upgrading your character. And there are some skills that you can do that do some awesome slashes like we got a fire charge with a sword, a double slash attack. But it's really just mostly waiting for the right time to strike, let the enemy do his animations and then you can go in. And I really like that approach. We see that of course in the other footage too against this huge guy with the hammer. And after this new footage I get even more Infinity Blade vibes from this. Maybe you remember that mobile game from Epic with pretty good graphics for an iPod game at the time. And it also had a massive focus on large weapons and big bosses. And Lords of the Fallen also comes to mind. Not sure if you remember this early PS4 and Xbox One game. Also very Dark Souls inspired. And I totally get why people would say Warframe as well. Because again Godfall also has co-op. And there's just a big focus on the different armor sets that grant you different powers. I will leave a link by the way to the Reddit post so you can easily check it out for yourself. I can't wait to see more. I'm pretty intrigued. This should be a fun PS5 launch game for sure. Gearbox is publishing it. And overall I'm just curious like... How big is this game? Like how much content can we expect? And will it be fun like after 5 or 10 hours and not be repetitive? Because games like this can get repetitive pretty fast. So that will be interesting to see. First footage looks pretty cool to me. Let me know what you think of course in the comments down below. When we know more about Godfall then I will totally let you know here on the channel. So totally subscribe for everything on the game. 
like the video to support the channel. And you can totally check out my previous video on Godfall as well that goes way more in depth on the features that you can expect and sort of the history of this game and the developer that is working on it. You can watch it by clicking on the screen. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.